In this hall are family, friends, well wishers and top government officials to honor the legacy of the late Sam Moma through the third annual lecture series with the theme Temple of Justice scarred or sacred. Our motivation for this topic is to stir up the judiciary to be a temple again where people can come to and expect justice, jurisprudence, equality. Um, what they say becomes law because it's right, not because somebody painted or patted them on the back. President Nigerian Bar Association Yakubu Mekyo and the keynote speaker Ayo Obe gave a holistic overview of issues that have caused scars on the Nigerian justice system. Barred him from holding public office for 10 years and ordered the forfeiture of the undeclared assets. Meanwhile, following a recommendation by the National Judicial Council that Onogen should be compulsorily retired, he had already resigned on the 5th of April. As I said, those scars were inflicted on the Temple of Justice by the executive arm of government. And I don't need to go into the long list of orders that the executive chooses not to obey. We just saw an example yesterday, um, uh, which also inflicts scars on the Temple of Justice. Late General Moma was many things to those who crossed this path in life. But to his family, he was an embodiment of knowledge. The foundation was set up to spur reading culture in our country. Our father was very, very passionate about books. He loved to read. You know, when his eyesight was, was bad, he was always he was, he was still reading. A new chapter to add to the compendium of the late soldier's exploit in national service came in the public presentation of this book, A General and a Gentleman. The book, many believe, will serve as a source of inspiration as well as preserve the legacy of the late Sam Moma in Abuja, Hakimat Aliu, NTA News.